Hi, I'm Ben, M7FRS, and in this video I'm going to try and explain how to get the Q900 working via Bluetooth using the Q Radio BLE Bluetooth app. Now, I couldn't find the app on the App Store, and uh, the uh, the only way I found to uh, to get the app working is to go on to the uh, Aliens HS2 uh, webpage. Once you've got that open, um, if you click the three dots and then press the little plus button on resource we then need to go to the resource center and then we'll scroll up until we find the hs2 resource we're going to click to download uh, then we need the software and then we're going to scroll up and we're going to click the HS2 Q Radio BLE app. So we'll download that file. What you'll also need to do uh, to get that working is to download the updated firmware, whatever that might be at the time. So that's this one. So we're going to download that as well. Um, then we'll go into files and we'll open that up and we'll create a, a desktop icon. So once you've found the files that you've downloaded, um, we need to hit extract. So once we've extracted those, we should then be able to run the Q Radio BLE app so we can install that onto the desktop. And click open. You might need to allow it to uh, use various things whilst the app's running. Okay, so once we've got the app running, we then need to uh, make sure the radio is on and we press and hold the BLE button just for a few moments. And we should see that um, that brings this screen up. I select new, it should scan devices. So once it's loaded, it's found the uh, Q900, you need to click uh, the Q900 BT for Bluetooth. Uh, now you'll see the uh, the frequency will match the frequency on the uh, uh, on the Q900 itself, and uh, we can now use the um, the rotary uh, VFO on your phone to adjust the uh, the frequency up and down. What I have noticed is if you try and go too fast with it, because it's Bluetooth, it will take a little while to catch up, and it'll just keep going. So um, just something to be aware of. Uh, but what that does give you is all the other options of uh, uh, the same controls that are on the on the front of the radio, actually on the um, on the uh, on the Bluetooth app. So you can change the band, um, and you can uh, do all the other uh, uh, functions. Probably just a little bit easier uh, from the uh, from the app itself. So that's uh, quite nice. It's in a short video. This one. Hope you found that useful. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.